Hello and welcome. I am Maurice Gravier, Chief Investment Officer at Emirates NBD, and I'm here to introduce the media update of our 2023 Global Investment Outlook. Unpredictability is our theme for this year, and indeed, against most predictions, all major asset classes were positive in the first half. With plus 15%, stocks from developed markets even had their best first half in 20 years. The good news is that our strategies fully participated. We precisely started the year by materially increasing our allocation to developed market stocks. The reason is not that we predicted the rally. We dedicated our efforts to optimize our strategic asset allocation following the correlation shock of 2022. The other important good news of 2023 is that diversification works again. It's a great time for multi-asset portfolios. Now let's look forward. The big picture on the big issue is somewhat clearer. Inflation has passed its peak in the West but its core component is still way too high for central banks. They should raise interest rates a bit more, but most importantly, they should maintain their interest rates at elevated levels for long until their mission is accomplished. This means more pressure on activity. Manufacturing is already weak and services, the current growth engine could also fade. After inflation, recession in the West is the next big risk. But we are for now between the two concerns in what we have called Goldilocks interlude. Better inflation, resilient growth. But unpredictability has certainly not disappeared. First, let's be humble. Inflation and growth may surprise in any direction, like they constantly did in the last 18 months. Second, the duration of this interlude is not clear. It could last a bit, especially with, so far, strong labor markets. Finally, when recession risk becomes more of a concern, even market reaction is unknown. For sure, it would be good for safe bonds. But would equity investors panic because of earnings risk meeting high valuations? Or will they celebrate in anticipation of the end of monetary tightening? We don't know. We don't make predictions this year. We focus on portfolios. After the strong returns of our strategies in the first half, in absolute, but also compared to our international competitors, we start the second half with a modestly defensive stance. We overweight safe sources of income, money market funds and quality bonds. We are close to neutral, slightly below neutrality on equity, where we favor emerging markets. We underweight alternatives except gold. You will find more details in our media that document my key message today. Diversification is the right response to unpredictability and it works again in 2023. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates to come from the CIO office.